Hey friends, it is week number 13 of our Nehemiah series, and this time around we find ourselves in chapter 10. Before we talk about the application though, I wanna just kinda of give you a review of the book so far, and I want you to think about the progression of this book so far. So, you know, when you think about chapters one through six, what you see happening is uh, kind of the state of Jerusalem, it's in ruins, the state of the people, they're suffering, uh, the way that God moves by raising up one person, Nehemiah, who feels compelled to go and help, and then Nehemiah, uh, talks to the king and the king sends him and he goes there to Jerusalem and rallies the people and there's this movement of God and together they rebuild the wall, right? That's chapters one through six. So this movement of God where God is kind of uh, bringing about a renewal, not only of the city itself, but the people. And so chapters one through six is the building of the wall. Chapter seven is when they say, um, well, who's a part of the community? So they're kind of establishing or reestablishing the community itself. Chapter eight is this huge worship service where they open up the scriptures and they read the scriptures together and really just hearing from God. Uh, that then leads to them responding, right? And what we see in chapter nine is they recall the story of God. They recount, recall how like they've been unfaithful. They confess their sins and how God has been faithful and they rejoice in God's faithfulness. That's chapter nine. And that leads us up to chapter 10. And so chapter 10 is really kind of just the uh, appropriate response to everything that has happened so far. In chapter 10, the people are renewing their covenant commitment with God. Right, a covenant is uh, kind of a, a legal, binding, relational dynamic between God and his people. It has uh, a promise and an obligation. Uh, the essence of covenant it really is God saying, I will be your God, you will be my people. And because you're my people, I want you to live the way that I want you to live. And as you live the way that I want you to live, then I'm going to bless you. And so what we see happening in chapter 10 is this promise of the people saying, you know what, we want to be faithful to the covenant that we're in. They realize that they are under this covenant that God established with Moses, which includes all of Israel, which includes them, but they haven't been living like it. And so now they're saying, yeah, we want to live faithfully to the covenant that we've been in. And so when we think about the application and how this plays into our lives, really what we see is an opportunity for us to understand that we too are in covenant with God. However, our covenant is a covenant of grace through faith in Jesus. When we believe in Jesus, we enter into the covenant of grace. We are saved by grace through faith in Jesus. And so the application is for you to commit yourself to God, for you to, to recommit yourself to your part in God's covenant, for you to see the beauty of covenant, to see the, the beauty of the way in which God relates to us, where he calls us to live a set-apart life, he calls us to worship him, and as we do, God blesses us by being his God, or being our God, rather. And so the, the application is just kind of real simple. It's like, just be faithful to God. Commit yourself to God. Uh, see yourself in covenant with God and then live accordingly.